need your help with something. Do you like this path or do you like this path? I can't decide between the, the paving stone path or the black path completely throughout the zoo. Um, do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As you can see, we are putting in the raccoon today. I'm doing voiceovers for this particular kind of season. The normal kind of way we make videos will be back with us when we do the Christmassy, wintry franchise mode. Now, we are doing the raccoon habitat today, so we're over the other side of the zoo. Um, what I wanted to do with this particular one is build it around like an abandoned mine so the raccoons can kind of hurry into it if they wanted to use it as kind of a shelter or they can just kind of run through it if they wanted to Um, I'm going to start putting in the mine kind of aspect of it now. Um, use the majority of the twilight pack, to be honest. Um, there wasn't much that I used that wasn't. I do use a few wheelbarrows and a few carts. Just using the wooden logs to outline the entrance and the exit of it. Kind of fiddled with the terrain around it, trying to make it fit a little bit better and blended in some rocks and some soil to make it a little bit more kind of more believable i suppose but i think this is the my favorite habitat anyway that we've currently got just because there's more kind of climbing aspects to it In this particular zoo, you may have noticed that I haven't been putting any electricity sources in. That's because in sandbox mode, you can turn on power everything. So you don't have to have lots of energy resources around. The only things you need are water pumps. So here I'm just using the Indian tradesman's cart, I believe it's called, and just placing that to in the entrance and the exit of the abandoned mine.
the, some climbing resources for the raccoons at the moment. But let me know in the comment section down below, how are you finding the Twilight pack? What animals have you built for so far? Is this your favorite pack? Were you expecting Frontier to release something different? Were you hoping for something different? Let me know. Um, I quite, I really do like this one, um, but I really do like like Halloween and things like that. It's just nice to have some kind of something different. And it does remind me of Planet Coaster when they did their spooky pack. And you can create spooky theme parks and stuff like that. I really enjoyed that one. So yeah, it was nice to be able to create something similar, but with a zoo, it's very different. Here I'm just creating some little stairs for the raccoons to use so they can get up on things a little bit better. Um, so I put that on some of the climbing frames and also kind of here on the hill just to help them get up the hill a little bit. I'm trying to go for a lot of like broken trees for the foliage around. Um, use some long grass and everything to bury certain things in it, um, especially if like lawn mowers or something couldn't necessarily get up to these areas you would see some long grass in these places definitely going to be sticking to the orangey dark greens yellows those kinds of colors within the trees i really like these red bushes um to be placed around the zoo as well which would be quite good yeah and these little kind of dead little trees or like little bushes i thought were really cool so definitely going to try and incorporate those into other habitats as well but what has been your favorite habitat so far do let me know was it the common wombat was it the red fox or was it the raccoon let me let me know
do need to put in some little staff staff room kind of accessories or staff accessories like uh, we had in the conservation pack like the little rakes and the gardening bits and bobs and maybe like a vegetable patch or something I think I might do that in the next episode and maybe then just place them around the zoo Here we're just designing the toilets I'm trying to pick a roof um i wanted to use the hexagonal roofs but i couldn't work out how to kind of do it really or how i wanted it to look so we've gone for your it's kind of standard roof so i wanted to give the illusion that the toilets were quite big um i know in some of the other zoos we've kind of just left it in the little square kind of shell but i thought having something a little bit longer gives the illusion that the toilets you can actually walk into the toilets and there would actually be something there rather than the guests just disappear So I wanted to put a sign here for um, mind your head <laughs> because the, obviously the spikes from the door but I couldn't figure out what kind of font to use or sign um, I do change the sign in a little bit because it's, it's just a little bit too big but it turns out later on when you're seeing the cinematics that you don't actually need the sign because the spikes are way bigger than the guests or higher up than the guests heads um, but I thought it was it looked cool I put it on an angle just so it maybe it, it could look a little bit older like the sign's been there for ages it's fallen down it's been fixed a few times but I went for the Australian sign but which I think it suits quite well actually uh, so I'm just put putting in some little decorations some pumpkins and things like that to add to the spookiness of it really I thought a hanging pumpkin might be quite cool so I put one of those in and I really wanted to use one of these gargoyles and um, I saw the fox one and I thought oh that'd be really good it looks like it's just about to jump off the roof so we put one of those in as well we're just putting in some lights I wanted to make the sign stand out so you could actually see it but it, it does get better the lighting does get a little bit better I put in one of those big lights that we normally put on the floor here I was going to try and do a shop shower but it didn't really turn out how I wanted it it looks really cool so I'll let you guess what you think what you think it is but I'm not entirely sure whether or not it's going to work as a shop um if you think it will or if you have a different idea on how we can make it work please do let me know because I'd love to hear what you think we could do to make it actually into a shop shell and I wasn't really as you can tell by the way it is a pumpkin I hope you can tell <laughs> and um, I wasn't really sure what to use for the stalk um, so I thought oh, okay well maybe I'll use some of the plaster pieces to incorporate that kind of stalk section and then I was like the more I was looking at it I was like oh, I don't know whether or not it works so I um, decided to have a little look for something else Um, it just also makes it a little bit more realistic I think with one of the log shapes so I don't know this is what's telling me it's not going to look right for a shop shell because of the log going straight through if there is a way that you think we could incorporate a pumpkin into a shop then please do let me know otherwise 
we will just kind of keep them for decoration and maybe we will continue the theme of the shop shelf that looks like the toilets do i will leave you now and you can have a look, little look at the cinematics after i finish building all the pumpkins um but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in the next one bye